I'm uh, the new editor of the Mills Record Company blog. Um, loving working here. I love Kansas City. Born and raised. Uh, love local music. That's me. Um, Jackson May, uh, contributor to the blog. Love death metal, pop punk, and Korean pop music. So, all right. My name is Judy Mills, and I work at Mills Record Company. Any relation? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the album that I can't get enough of. Savages. Have you guys listened to it? I've heard of them. Yeah. Okay. What are they? What are they kind of like? Well, according to Wikipedia, they describe it as like a post-punk revivalist sort oh, of, awesome. you know. But I, they sound like Susie and the Banshees sort okay. of to me, yeah. you know. So kind of driving, and um, the song Shut Up has got me through a lot of really rough times yeah. this spring. <laughs> it's awesome. They're really, they did a, they were at um, the Pittsburgh Festival, sort of stole that show. Mm. They're from London, and it's my fa- one of my favorite albums of the, the year. Brits. Awesome. I know. Right. <laughs> right? <laughs> and it's an all-girl group, so, you know. Oh, I, it's got to love that. They have a weakness for that. <laughs> yeah. And the great thing is, like, no matter who, I, it's pretty accessible too. So I've recommended it to a ton of people who all come back to me and talk mm. about how much they like it. Yeah. So you I've, know, I've seen a lot of chatter about the album on mm-hmm. for sure. blogging and stuff and whatnot. So, and usually yeah. that puts me off because it has got a lot of buzz. If you listen to it in the background as background noise, you're going. Uh, you, suddenly, I was like, what am, is this still the same album when I first heard it? Yeah. And because it goes into some weird place, but then it comes back in a way that's really strong. Yeah. Yeah. Is this their their first album? It's first album, yeah. Cool. So that was, that's pretty much been my album of the spring. Um, the one I've been digging recently, um, as we all know, Death Heaven, uh, Sunbather. I mean, I know people who don't like metal at all that this is their album of the year so far. Uh-huh. I mean, it's it's explosions in the sky and um, my bloody Valentine mixed with Norwegian black metal. I mean, it's just all over the place. Um, you know, I, I listened to Loveless by My Bloody Valentine. It's like, I guarantee they had that on repeat when they were making this. Um, their, their vocalist, one of the best black metal vocalists I've ever heard, it gets really up there. Um, there's no singing, so don't don't come into this looking for an easy listen. <laughs> um, but for the instruments alone, I mean, it's just a really good melding of of genres that I think a lot of people, uh, uh, a lot of people that don't normally listen to this kind of stuff, I would say this kind of metal, this is the best album that has ever been released. There's bands like uh, Wolves in the Throne Room, and Liturgy, and other stuff like that. This is by far the best of that kind of that kind of group that's kind of exploded the last ten years out of America. This is for sure probably the best album. Okay, my first choice, uh, oh, yeah. the new Vampire Weekend record. Do you like it too? I haven't listened to them since their first album, so... Hopefully, this isn't the first time you're hearing of this. It's been talked about quite a bit. This is their third album, uh, Modern Vampires of the City is what it's called. Um, it's If you didn't like Contra, their second album, I think this one's probably closer in scope to sort of their first one, maybe. I know I love their first record, uh, the self-titled one. Uh, and I wasn't as crazy about Contra. They sort of try to do some different stuff on there and uh, maybe expand a little bit. But I feel like this gets back to sort of what they do best, which is writing pop songs. So this, I feel like this is more of a, a concise pop record, but it's also a little bit uh, darker as well, too, which maybe might be counterintuitive to think something is more pop, but also a little bit darker. It's kind of weird. I mean, I never thought of Vampire Weekend as kind of like a darker band, but that's not Well, you know. Right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, in the context. Uh-huh. The name's a little silly, mm. the band itself, but you know the title of the record's yeah, kind of sure. silly. But they've got this dark sort of uh, shot of New York City yeah. from the '60s with all the smog. Um, so that one's really been uh, blowing my mind quite a bit. Um, what I like about some of my favorite bands is uh, going through their catalog. If you can see sort of a progression, mm. and I think that with them, I'm really starting to see that they have three records now and. I feel like they're, you know, they're sort of growing as artists and, you know, growing as people as well. Yeah. If you can, I mean, judge their art. Shout out to the new Kurt Vile record. I don't have it here, but I love that one. Go too. listen to Troglodyte. They're awesome. Shout out to Troglodyte. And you know what? I think they're going to do an in store here. Troglodyte. Really? Yeah. Yeah. How you awesome is that going to be? No, no, I'm super excited about that. Yeah. Will the store survive that? Or? 
Well, I figured that that's if, they can, if it can survive that, it can survive anything. So that's uh, <laughs> okay. So what's, is that. their live show pretty bombastic? Or? They all wear masks and they sing death metal about Bigfoot only. Only Bigfoot. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. 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 But they're just super. They're <laughs> super nice guys. Well, I electronically I know them. I haven't met them in oh, person. Yeah, Jeff's pretty. Yeah, yeah, but they okay. seem really awesome.